Welcome to John Crawford Marine. Today we're going to have a look over the all new Arvor 675 Weekender. My name's Matt Hodson, been part of the Arvor family now for almost 20 years and absolutely excited about this all new model that we're uh, debuting to the Queensland buyers. So let's have a look at the features and what makes this new model a standout amongst the Arvor range. Something we're really excited about with this new Arvor 675 Weekender is its design beam. This boat's beam is 2.5 metres. For those of you that may not know, in Queensland, anything being towed that's wider than 2.5 metres requires over width flags and signage. But with this particular model, woohoo, 2.50, no flags, no over width permits required. On this particular trailer, the boat's coming in at 9.2 metres overall length. Now that is with the motor down in the vertical position for, for storage to the tow coupling at the front. And its height from the ground up to the top with the anchor light folded down is 3.25 metres. So hopefully manageable for a lot of sheds and carports. Not everybody wants to go out fishing, but you know, a big part of our market is very much steered towards social boating. But one of the things they've done with the Weekender is opened up the cockpit area. So it can sort of be a bit of both. It can be one minute a sun deck pad. Next minute, it can be a seating area for five or six people comfortably. One of the great things our family certainly enjoys out on the water when we're at anchor is snorkeling. And something that is a great feature on the Arbor range is the telescopic four rung boarding ladder. So after a swim, it's still easy to get back on board the boat. Inside the 675, the dinette can easily seat two people comfortably, if not two adults, and then two children. There's ample storage throughout this boat. I just can't see duffel bags being left around willy-nilly in this boat. Under the bunks and under the seats here in the dinette are really large storage holes. I also like how the dinette on this particular model, the table can be lowered and then we have a fill-in cushion, which then makes another small bed. So if you have young ones, we could probably have two adults and a young one up the front, and we could probably get another young one quite easily here. The area in here is light and spacious. There is full visibility all the way around the boat. And for those that would like a bit of privacy, with the comfort pack, it comes lined with these sliding curtains. Great idea if the boat's being stored out in the open on a dry rack or down at the marina. Something we all want are creature comforts. One of the biggest things that we get with all of our range of arbors is people want a toilet. So this 675 has been optioned with an enclosed toilet with a door, a ventilation hatch, and it's got its own hand basin with pressurized water sink. This helm is really well set up. It's got a Simrad touchscreen LCD GPS and plotter, and that also integrates with the engine. So if you want to see things like fuel consumption, how much fuel's remaining, you want to turn the stereo on, you want to connect the Bluetooth via the stereo, all this can be done now with a touch of the screen. Steering is made light and easy with a hydraulic steering system, standard on these particular boats. And this particular boat's also been set up with a bow thruster. You heard me right, a bow thruster. With the press of a button, we can then make the bow of the boat go left and right. If you're new to boating, it helps make you a little bit more confident in a confined space at the marina, but also too, if you're a bit new to launching and retrieving your boat, it helps bring the bow in and keep you nice and centered. The Arvor 675 is rated to a 225 horsepower. So you have a choice between 150, 175, 200 and a 225, and all will do the job very well. What we do like though with the V6 engines, the 175, 200 and 225, is they have a digital gearbox. So the transition from forward to neutral, neutral to reverse and back to neutral, is really all electronic and very simple and smooth. For on-water communications, I know everyone's got a mobile phone, but sometimes they go flat, sometimes they get dropped in the water, and you might need to talk to base or back to some sort of rescue with a flat battery or an emergency. A VHF radio is really important, and this particular boat's fitted with a Simrad uh, VHF radio. You might want to cook up a storm on your boat. Well, let's face it, I know I don't. We go out there to relax, not to make up a three course meal. But you do want the basics. So this particular boat has a 50 litre, 12 volt fridge with a, what we call a quick freeze and a quick cool down method. We also have a pressurized sink, making it easy to wash your hands or clean the, uh, the cups and the plates. And it comes with a portable gas barbecue. So find the nice white beach, take the sausages and the bread, cook up a nice feed for lunch, and then go and enjoy yourself on the water. Ventilation is really important, especially 
especially here in sunny Queensland. So not only does the cabin have a dual sliding rear door, but it also has port and starboard sliding windows and then two overhead hatches. One large hatch here near the helm and then another one down above the V-bird. The boat has a 45 litre water tank on board, which is ideal because the boat has a transom shower, great for getting the briny off after a swim. We've got the hand sink here in the galley and we've also got the pressurised sink in the uh, enclosed head. Fuel range, the tank is standard with a 200 litre fuel tank, providing more than enough range for a day or a weekending of boating and exploring. We also have dual battery system as standard on the Arva 675, and the third battery is installed if the bow thruster option is listed. The team at John Crawford Marine and Arbor, with the help of Red Coast Sportsman, have put a trailer under this hull that marries like a glove. It's called the TA700 TEH, aluminium, I-beam, four-wheel, electric hydraulic brakes. A few upgrades have been added to make sure that the hull marries to the hull like a glove. This, in turn, makes launching and retrieving a simple affair, but also highway towing a pleasure. So with the trailer boat, one of the most important things you need to know is, well, how heavy is it? But we don't know exactly its weight yet. There's the manufacturer's specs and there's a bit of innuendo. The only way to know, how about we go and weigh it and work out exactly what this boat weighs off the tow ball with a full tank of fuel, full tank of water, safety gear, and all the options that have been fitted to this boat, like the additional bow thruster. Come Tom, let's go to the weigh bridge. All right, so we're down at the weigh bridge. So we've got the boat still attached to the car. And as it's attached to the Land Cruiser, it's coming in at 2.68 tonne attached. Now we're going to detach it from the vehicle so that we get the five points of contact, the four tires and the jockey wheel. And let's see what its true weight is. Well, what a great result. So there's the certificate. We now officially know the weight of the Arvor 675 Weekender on the Red Coast Sportsman TA trailer. Just under three tonne, full of fuel, full of water with the bow thruster and the additional gear in it. So no assumptions, no guessing, just the facts, how I like it. Oh well, let's get back to the boatyard. So look, thanks for watching. This isn't a detailed boat review by any means. It's just a really exciting opportunity for us to grab the camera, jump in front of the lens and show you some of the exciting features and accessories of this new model, which we think is going to be really popular here in sunny Queensland. If you'd like more information on the Arbor 675 Weekender, please, by all means, give the team a call at John Crawford Marine. Thanks again and see you next time.